Home stretch here from Technic, Technic and Schaefer. This is broadcasting on the beach with Halftime Howie. And such a thrill tonight to have so many uh, great uh, charities. Toys for Tots, the Lions Club, the Waterfront Warriors, the Christmas Angels. And we have two special guests. And my friend, the birthday boy, Tommy Monday, is going to introduce two special guests here right now. First, first off, Howie, I, I, I promised the church that I would uh, tell about the Ronan Tynan concert that will be on this Sunday, December 5th. It will be at the Long Beach Catholic Regional School. Uh, it, contact Vicki at St. Mary's. Tickets are still available. There's VIP tickets to be had, and uh, you can sit down and discuss things with Ronan Tynan, the great Irish tenor known from the Yankee games. It's a spectacular show. I saw it last year, and it's out of this world. Please try to help out the regional school. You can also catch contact with St. Ignatius Colleen. Please get there. There's some tickets left. It's for a great cause. And please get out there and try to do it. Also, Howie, on a, on a note, this is so great. It makes me proud to be from Long Beach with all these charities right here. You know, it's, that's what Long Beach is all about. All right, now, with no further ado, this man did two tours of duty in Iraq to protect our country Matt Battaglia and Timmy Robinson is ready to go into boot camp on a, to, to be a specialized in a special detail to protect our clergy. I mean, I could not think of two more young men from Long Beach that make me more proud of this town. How to take it away. Thank you, Ray. Let's give it up for these great <laughs> First of all, I think everyone in Long Beach is, is proud of you. And, and talk about your desire to serve the military, and what's the experience been like for you? Uh, it was a great experience, believe it or not. Uh, I went in there pretty scared, not knowing what was going to happen, and then uh, pretty immature. And when I came out of there, I became a man, and uh, it was a great experience. I had a, a good time, learned a lot, and uh, I'm just grateful that I'm here. Okay, great. That's awesome. And uh, what's it like coming back to town? and? and seeing the, a great event like the Waterfront Warriors and, and knowing that people in town are working with the Waterfront Warriors and, and helping out overseas. It means a lot. When you come back home, you really, you know, cherish, you know, all the stuff that goes on. But, but before you leave, you really don't know what's going on. But then when you get back, just really appreciate it. That's great. Let's give it up for Matt Battaglia. Tim Robinson's going to go to boot camp. And, uh, Tim, what are your thoughts right now as you enter on this important journey in your life? Uh, well, it's a couple of days before I leave, so I'm uh, just doing some last minute getting ready, putting stuff away. But uh, overall, I'm very excited and looking forward to uh, serving our country as uh, so many of my family and friends have done before me. And uh, I think I'm going into a great thing and uh, couldn't be more happier. You grew up in this great town. What has this town of Long Beach meant to you in, in growing up in this community? When you, you come to a show tonight, and you see so many people who are giving back to the community. Uh, it's a really uh, amazing thing to see. You know, I've never seen anything like it. Uh, it's a great town. Everybody gives so much, and everybody's so supportive uh, of all the different charities, especially when it comes to our, our troops overseas and needy children. It's just, uh, it's a very good feeling. And it, I think it's, it means a lot to everybody that lives here, and it's um, it gets everybody excited. It feels it makes everybody feel good to give back so much. And uh, there's no greater example to see a community giving charity than Long Beach. That's great. Let's give it up for uh, Matt. Hey. 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 Matt, welcome back here. Uh, Matt, I'm gonna. Robin, we're, gonna, we're back again. If the people who might have tuned in late, we want another. Uh, we want to get all the charities in one more time. To go, it's so important. And um, Robin Lynch from the Waterfront uh, Warriors. Uh, let's give it another. Um, let's go over again about the big event and, and what the Waterfront Warriors do. Thanks again. Um, first, I probably should apologize. I think earlier I said uh, Sunday, December 6th, but it's actually Sunday, December 5th. So uh, please mark your cal calendars accordingly. We will, um, again, be collecting donations for the troops um, and sorting and shipping out from the Allegria Hotel on Sunday. Um, we're collecting uh, various uh, items that the troops can get, but we'd rather just send it to them. Uh, travel size. Toiletries such as toothpaste, toothbrushes, shampoo, stuff like that. 
Um, also some clothing that they don't get with their gear and uh, socks, um, gloves, and uh, also some entertainments, um, DVDs, magazines and such. Also to the Walter Reed Army Medical Center and the Northport VA, um, they've been asking for Xbox games. Um, so we've been collecting those as well. Um, they seem to really enjoy them. Uh, also, uh, our local school children uh, donated all of their Halloween candy. So we have tons and tons of candies going to the various hospitals and overseas. Um, so please, if you can, come out to the Olivia Hotel on Sunday, December 5th from 2 to 5. Um, bring something or just watch us in action. Uh, meet Santa, get your picture taken, and um, it should be a fun event. And thank you guys for everything you do. Matt, just to follow up on what uh, Robin said, as a as a someone that served in the military, how, what does it mean to you knowing that people like Robin and, and the Waterfront Warriors are sending care packages to your, your uh, fellow uh, soldiers overseas? It really means a lot. You know, everybody back over there. You know, we truly appreciate every gift, every letter that even comes by. There's uh, as few people as you know sends a lot, a lot of care packages, a lot of schools. But you know, I just uh, I really appreciate it as well. You know, because a lot of people send me stuff from my hometown. It was great. All right, let's give it up for Matt. Right. All right, now let's welcome back uh, Johanna Sofield from the Long Beach Christmas Angels. Uh, Johanna spoke at the beginning of the show, but we want a, another recap because it's such a great, they help so many people here in the community. Joanna, let's have another recap of what the Christmas Angels do. Thank you very much. Um, just to recap, what what Long Beach Christmas Angel does is we help families in financial crisis in the city of Long Beach. Um, this week alone, we got a phone call from a social worker, two children, parents unemployed. Um, they cannot pay for glasses for the child. As simple as arranging with a local doctor an eye exam um, and paying for the glasses, the child, you know, these children will be helped. As it turns out, Dr. Leland Barry, um, to date has yet to send me a bill and I have sent him many children. Um, so it could be something as small as just facilitating a doctor's visit to um, paying for a mother's mortgage payment while she's undergoing cancer treatment and um, you know raising three children. So the, our ability to help is, is extensive. We have helped to very um, uh, several people who Family who died uh, that, that were low income, and I have a special relationship with Christopher Jordan uh, Funeral Home. So, if a family cannot pay, we will do the basic that's required to make sure that that um, the family is taken care of. Um, and we can't do any of this without our sponsors. Christopher Jordan's Funeral Home is one of them. The uh, the Alegria Hotel, the Alegria Hotel is another one. We also have Dernan Group. We have. Um, Bluetooth Creative does all of our printing, as does JFB Lithographers. Um, we also have Planet Payment, who's helping us this year with a, with a sponsorship. And Gino is, has been wonderful. Gino, um, Gino's daughter, Carol Ann, in honor of her father last year, wanted to do something special and heard that we help children um, and that the money stayed in town. So she called me. She said that she'd like to help. She's going to donate proceeds to a book she wrote. And um, she wasn't sure how big the check was going to be, and it was over $5,000. So a local pizza joint giving a, a local charity $5,000 is pretty impressive. So we're very grateful for everything that, that the local communities do. I do want to also mention um, the, the most popular item is the surfboard, as anybody in this town would know. Unsound Surf Shop started out as the smallest surf shop in town. They are local surfers, they, they support our organization and other organizations every year, and their gift packages are about $1,200 every year. Um, and we raise a lot of money off of those surfboards. We also um, travel, con, uh, con Travel Communications. They are a small PR firm. They arrange trips. So for a small fundraiser, we always get wonderful trips. This year we have Mango Bay in Barbados. We have the uh, Pink Beach Hotel. Um, in Bermuda, in addition to um, Sandoz Car Caracal in Mexico on the River Maria, uh, Maya. So um, we're very grateful for all of our sponsors, and um, you know we get we have the ability to help in profound ways. Um, 
And thank you right. very much. All right. Thank you very much. Woo! Thank you. Alan Schwartz and um, Larry uh, Benowitz uh, from the Lions Club of Long Beach. Let's have uh, another uh, talk about what the Lions Club of Long Beach is doing on the annual coat drive. Again, Henry, thank you very much uh, for having us here tonight. Um, what we're currently doing, the Long Beach Lions, is uh, the coat drive that we've been doing every year. Uh, we collect the coats, we clean the coats, and we distribute them to the people that need the coats. Uh, the, uh, whoever's cold is, is able to come in and get a coat and drop them off at the local churches. Uh, and you could drop the coats off, and here's another easy plug for us, but uh, the Laurel Cleaners at 285 West Park Avenue. And, uh, and uh, besides the coats, uh, the Lions, we do charity work all year round for all different organizations and uh, charities, and uh, anyone interested in joining the Long Beach Lions, uh, I'm gonna throw out some numbers for you. It's 297-1000 or 889-6311 to join the Lions. Uh, we're looking for uh, people that want to help. Uh, we'll take you uh, with our arms open. And again, it's 297-1000 or 889-6311, or you could go email at Long Beach Lions, 85th, LB Lions, LB Lions uh, 85th, um, at AOL.com. And again, thank you for having us. Okay. And, uh, thank you. You're welcome. Let's get it. And uh, the last charity, I want to hear from our boy, Fabrizio, but uh, let's have another update uh, about what Toys and Talks are doing here in the Long Beach community. Welcome back, Lori. Hi, thanks for having me. I just want to reiterate that um, this is a combined toys for touch drive between St. Mary Gower Parish and St. Mary Gower Smarter Parish. Um, um, St. Mary Gower Parish services 550 needy families on a monthly basis, for which we provide food and clothing. And St. Ignatius provides for 140 families and providing food and clothing. Well, food, well, not the clothing, I'm sorry. Uh, so these chil children of all these families are in need of toys for Christmas, and we decided that we would run this annual toy drive, this first annual toy drive together. Uh, we're looking for toys from birth to 15 years of age, unwrapped toys. They can be delivered to St. Mary the Isle Rectory on East uh, um, Walnut Street in Long Beach, or to St. Ignatius Rectory on West Broadway in Long Beach. Or um, you can arrange for pickup by calling uh, myself at 516-404. 7161. Thank you. Thank you so much. Okay. I'm gonna thank that. Matter of fact, all our guests, uh, we only have about a minute left. Uh, Eric and Derek, I'm sorry I, we've, we've had an action packed show, but I am thinking by the second of uh, the Patriots and the Jets. I cannot wait for this battle that's coming up on Monday night. I'm from New England, so I'm a Patriots fan, but mm. I gotta give the Jets their due. They're nine and two, and they find a way to win. But I'm predicting a big Patriot victory next Monday night, guys. Oh. Oh. I'm, getting, oh. I'm getting booed, I'm getting booed, but uh, And guys, I'm going to make a prediction. Not, yeah, not only are the Patriots going to beat the Jets, but ex-Jet Danny Woodhead is going to be the star of the game. Oh. 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 It's a <laughs> oh, no. I, matter of fact, I will go on record, and I'm guaranteeing a Patriot victory over the Jets on Monday. <laughs> Guarantee it. <laughs> no, guys, i got to run, but... Uh, Listen for the sports exchange. They're going to talk how the Jets are going to beat the Patriots and they're going to egg on their face next week. Guys, have a great show. All right, we have to end it. I want to thank all our guests, all the wonderful charities. Support Toys for Tots. Support the Lions Club. Support Long Beach Christmas, uh, Christmas Angels. Support the Waterfront Warriors. I want to thank and watch this show tomorrow night on YouTube. Uh, Halftime Howie Christmas show. You're going to love it. Thanks to all the guests, thanks to Patrick and Schaefer. The birthday boy, Tommy Mundy. Woo! Steve, everybody, thanks to our, our two great uh, veterans. And let me wrap with this. 
My name is Halftime. I want to thank you for your time. Please join us next Tuesday night for additional Halftime. But at this time, we 